If you know anything about me, you know that my diet consists of meat and then some more meat and then some more meat and then more meat to finish it off. And the day has finally come. We're here in Kobe, Japan to try some, some of the finest beef in the world. It's not the best in Japan, but it's the most famous beef coming out of Japan, Kobe beef. So far, they're cooking it in front of us, looks really impressive. We'll see about the taste. It's Kobe beef worth the, the money. Yes, so it is it is a very good steak. So it does have that, that buttery, beautiful consistency, which you usually get only on a part of a steak. Like you'll have part in a marbled steak, you'll get part of it that, that's kind of like this and then a little chewiness every once in a while. Here you get consistent, consistent butteriness all throughout, so for sure, yeah. Is it worth $70 for 150 grams? Does it melt in your mouth? <laughs> it's good, right? Thank you. But compared to the steaks we have, we've had in Poland, like it. Almost the same. Almost the same, it's just more consistent in the taste, right? I like both. <laughs> all the all the YouTube videos where people say it's so buttery it melts in your mouth. Yeah, that's 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 true. What's interesting is we got two steaks. So we got one from the from the leg and then one loin. Uh, the the cheap one was from the leg was thirty about thirty dollars and the expensive one was seventy dollars. And to my surprise, the difference isn't really in the chewiness. They're both very soft and melty, like Kobe beef should be. The expensive one is just a lot more flavor flavorful. It, it's got a smell to it. It's got like this nice, it's almost sweet. Like I don't know. I, I would say just smell. So I would say yeah, absolutely delicious and. What makes it what makes it special is that when people eat fatty meat, it's usually got that that kind of stink to it. It's got that that like fatty flavor, which a lot of people don't like. I personally don't mind because I, I eat a lot of steaks. But this one, the, the the aroma, the smell of the fat is actually beautiful and and quite pleasant. Thank you very much. So, so I think that's what what really separates Kobe beef from any other beef. It's just got that aroma to it. Uh, it maybe it's not even about the chewiness. It's about the the flavor of it. Arisa, any 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 thoughts about the, the Kobe beef? To be honest, I like Polish beef better. <laughs> yeah, so the one Ukashbok from Warsaw. Say, so if you're eating good steaks anywhere in the world, um, you know this is not going to be anything just out of. You know, out of this world. It's a it's a good fatty steak. Now, one important thing about Kobe beef is that a lot of it around the world is fake. In America, there's only about three, I think, three places that are certified to serve the real, authentic Kobe beef. And but you'll see it everywhere. You can copy burgers. Copy this and copy that, but it's all fake. It's just fake marketing. In order for something to be real copy, um, they have to be certified, and it's very hard to get certified. And if you go to a copy place, the way to know if they are actually authentic, legit copy place is to ask them to see this little, little statue and the certificate. And if they don't have that, that means they are a fake copy brief place, and they're unlawfully using the copy name. 
So this place, you know, it's they're clearly not messing around. I love how they cook it in front of you. It's just artistic and poetic and whatnot. Yeah, and that's gotta be.